In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the Mail app on the iPhone. Now, I'm going to have a few different videos on the Mail app because we can do a lot with the Mail app. So in this video, what we're going to be looking at is Mail Accounts and Mail Boxes, or what I like to call folders. How do we add a Mail account to the Mail app? When we add that Mail account, how can I go and add a new Mail Box or folder to store my email in? That's what we're going to look at in this video. In other videos, I'll take a closer look at how we can create and draft emails as well as format them and add attachments, and also how we can categorize our emails, especially with the new categorization options we have introduced in iOS 18. But like I said in this video, we're just going to focus on mail accounts and mailboxes, just so we can get an idea of how we work with our mail accounts. All right, let's take a look at how we can manage our mail accounts and mailboxes in the Mail app on the iPhone. Let's go over to my iPhone. Now, the first thing that we need to do with mail is we need to add our mail accounts. We need to add our email addresses to it. So how do we do that? Well, basically what we need to do is we need to go to our settings app. This is where we go and set up our accounts as well as manage them. So I tap on it. And now what I do is I go all the way down to the bottom. I'm using iOS 18 here. And we go over here to Apps. I tap on Apps. And now what I need to do is I need to go to Mail. So I have Mail here. When we look at our settings for Mail, what you're going to see here is Mail Accounts. This is where we're going to set all of this up. You can see I have three accounts here. So let's go ahead and see how this all works. Tap on it. First thing is, is you may want to add a mail account. So how do you do that? Well, basically you just tap on add account. And if it's one of the mainstream accounts, like from iCloud or Microsoft or Google, Yahoo or AOL, it's really easy. You just tap on the appropriate service here and follow the instructions. Really simple to do. Now, if you have an email address that is not part of this, then what you may need to do is tap on other, or what you will need to do is tap on other, and then follow the instructions there. It's gonna be a little bit more complicated. You might even have to get a hold of your service, your email service, to find out exactly what to input in there. But basically, this is where you go and set up or add your accounts. Now, once you add your accounts, when you go back, what you're gonna see is all of your different accounts. And you can see I have three different accounts here iCloud, Gmail, and my Dan at Dan's Tutorials. Now with each one of these, what we're able to do is make them active and inactive. So if we look here, you're going to see that my iCloud and Gmail both say mail on them, which means I'm able to access my mail on this iPhone, access those accounts on my iPhone. But if we look at my Dan at Dan's Tutorials, it says inactive. I do not have this on on this iPhone. This is a demo iPhone, so I don't want to have those emails in there. So how can we turn these on and off? Well, basically, all you need to do is just tap on it. So what I'm going to do is tap on Dan at Dan's Tutorials here. And if I wanted to make this active for mail, all I do is just tap on mail here, tap on the slider to turn it on. And it'll add my mailbox, my mail account, to the mail app. If you don't want to have that, you can just tap on the slider and it'll remove that. Now, if you want to delete it entirely from your iPhone, you're not going to see the mail account on your iPhone when this is turned off. But if you don't want to have the account on here at all, you could also do that, just delete the account. And what it does is it deletes the account from the iPhone. It doesn't actually delete your account from the service. So all of your mail is still going to be over at Gmail or iCloud or whatever service you're using just won't be on your iPhone. So that's how we manage our accounts on the iPhone. Now let's take a look at how these mail accounts work within the Mail app. So what I'm going to do is swipe up and we're going to go over here to Mail. Remember, I have two accounts in here. So I tap on it. And now to view your accounts, basically I like to think of the Mail app as three different panes. So over to the right, what we have is what I would call the viewer. When I tap on any one of these emails, I'm going to be able to view that email. And over to the left, we have what I like to think of as mailboxes. I can see all of my different accounts. And basically all we're doing is we're just swiping back and forth between these. So when I tap on an email, it shows me that email. So now I have those two little panels over there. I want to go back. I tap on back here. Or what I can do is just swipe. So if I swipe over to the right here, 
what it's going to do is it's going to bring me back. And again, now I'm back in that middle pane here. So I want to see all of my accounts. All I have to do is just go to mailboxes here, or again, what I'm able to do is just swipe from the left edge there, swipe to the right. And when I do, I can see all of my mailboxes. So if we look here, you're going to see that I have my two mailboxes. I have my iCloud account and then also my Gmail account. And I can view them separately. If I want to look at all of my iCloud mail, I just tap on iCloud. I'm looking at all of my iCloud mail. I go back. I want to see all of my Gmail. I tap on Gmail. And I can see all of my Gmail email. Gmail email. Yeah, that's right. I go back. My favorite view, though, is all inboxes. With this, I'm going to see all of the mail from all of my inboxes, in my case here, my two accounts. So when I tap on all inboxes, now I'm seeing my mail from both my Gmail account and my iCloud account. And if I had an AOL account, I'd see that as well. So you are able to select what mail you want to see. Now, if we scroll down, you're going to see that I have my mailboxes, or what I like to call folders, for each account. So these are all of the mailboxes or folders for my iCloud account. And when I swipe up, these are all of my mailboxes or folders for my Gmail account. And I can tap on any one of them to see my mail. So if I wanted to see all of my sent mail from Gmail, I tap on that and I can see all of my sent mail. Maybe I'd like to see all of my junk mail for my Gmail. Tap on that and I can see all the junk mail. And again, we have this for both accounts. So you're going to see I have my sent and junk there for iCloud as well. In addition to that, we also have our own folder. So I created these folders here. And these are all in iCloud. And when I swipe up, I created these folders here. How did I do that? How can we create a folder in a mail account? Well, it's pretty simple. Basically, all we have to do is just go up to edit here. I'm going to edit my mail accounts, tap on it, and then you're going to see new mailbox. Again, what I like to call folders, but basically that's what they are. They're mailboxes. So let's say I wanted to add a personal folder to Gmail where I can put my personal emails. So what I do is I tap on New Mailbox, I type in the name, and then I set where I want it to be. So which account do I want it to be in? I want this to be in Gmail. So I tap on this, and you're going to see I have iCloud up here, and then I also have Gmail up here. So I just tap on Gmail because that's where I want it to be, and now when I tap on Save, watch what happens. I'm going to have a new mailbox here called personal. I can put an email in there. If I wanted to add one to my iCloud, I can do that too. I tap on new mailbox and I type in the name. So let's just call this one taxes. I need to put all my taxes into this folder. So I tap on mailbox location once I type in the name. And instead of just tapping on iCloud, what I can do is I can actually nest this. You're going to see that I already have a personal folder in there or a personal mailbox. I'd like to put taxes in there. I want to nest this. So I tap on personal. And now you're going to see that it's going to put it into my personal mailbox within iCloud. So now I tap on save. And you're going to see I have taxes under personal. So now what I'm able to do is I'm able to move messages into these different folders. So how do we do that? Well, basically, all we have to do is just go to our mail list. So I'm just going to go to my all inboxes here. And then we go to the mail message. So let's just go with this one here. What I would like to do is I would like to move this one to my personal folder. Maybe I want to move it to Gmail. How can I do that? Well, all we do is just tap on the little folder at the bottom. And when I do, I can select where I want to save it to. So you're going to see all the different folders here. But if we look, it doesn't say anything about Gmail. I want to move it over to Gmail. How can I do that? Well, instead of tapping on one of these folders, that's how you would move a message. What I do is I go back. And then what I'm able to do is select Gmail. 
And now I can put that into my new personal folder. I tap on it, and now that is moved from my iCloud account over to my Gmail account and put into my personal folder. Another way of moving a message is to long press on it. So let's go with this one here. I'd like to move that. I long press on it, we get a contextual menu, and one of the options here when I swipe up is move message. I tap on that, and again, I can select where I want to move it to. So this one is in iCloud. I can move it to any one of my folders within iCloud. If I don't want to have it in iCloud and move it to Gmail, I can tap on back and move it to Gmail. So that's basically how we can move our messages into our mailboxes. Now from here, what I'm able to do is I'm able to swipe to the left or right. I'm going to have different options. This is another way of moving our mail. So when I swipe over to the right, you're going to see I can move this to my trash. This is how I can delete an email. And in fact, what I'm able to do is just swipe all the way over, and what it'll do is it'll just delete it. So I don't have to swipe, then stop, and then tap. You can just swipe all the way over. Another option we have here is Remind Me. I talk a little bit more about this in my viewing email. But basically what this will do is this will move it up to the top of your inbox at a specific time. So it's going to remind you. And then if we swipe in the other direction, so I'm going to swipe over to the left, I also have more options. I can archive it. Now what's the difference between archive and trash? Trash, what it'll do is it will delete the email typically after 30 days. So then you will not be able to find it. With archive, what it does is it just puts it into a folder, and then you're always going to be able to find it. It doesn't delete it. So if you want to keep it as an archive, it's typically what I will do, I move it to the archive folder. I just tap on archive here. Or what you can do is you can just swipe all the way over, and you're going to see I have the ability to archive it. Another option here we have is move. This allows us to move it to a specific mailbox. If you want to file it into a mailbox that you created. And then we also have more. With more, what we're able to do is reply, reply all. I can forward this. I can flag it. Basically, you have a lot of different options here. I talk a little bit more about this in my part two video where we talk about viewing mail messages. Now, with these swipe options here, we can actually change what is done. In order to customize these swipe options, what we need to do is we need to go to the settings app. So now I swipe up. And now I go over here to settings, and we have to go back over to our mail settings. I'm in my mail settings, and you're going to see when you swipe up, I'm swiped up here a little bit, you're going to see swipe options. I tap on this, and what I'm able to do is customize what happens when I swipe. Now the last thing I want to show you is how we can favorite mailboxes. When we go back over to our mailboxes here, what we're able to do is customize what mailboxes are shown here. As an example, I don't use flagged messages, so I'd like to get rid of flagged. But what I would like to do is I'd like to add personal down here. I use that folder quite a bit, so I want to have access to it. How can we customize what is shown here? Well, again, just like when we created a new folder or a new mailbox, what we do is we go up to edit, I tap on it, and you're going to see all these different check marks here. I just uncheck what I don't want to see and check what I do want to see. So you could really simplify the interface to the mail app. You could uncheck most of these. Let's just go with real simple mail here. We're just going to go with my mail accounts here. And then I want to add my personal down at the bottom here. To do that, we tap on Add Mailbox. It's not going to create a mailbox. What it's going to do is it's going to add a mailbox that you already created into this favorites. So I tap on Add Mailbox, and I go to Gmail, and we're going to go to Personal. And now we have my Personal here. So now I have a really simple interface. When I tap on Done, we have my inboxes here, and then I also have my personal email here, or my personal mailbox. I shouldn't say personal email, it's personal mailbox, it's a folder. So now I'm able to tap on that and see all of the email within that folder. If you want to go and add more again, you just tap on edit, 
and then you can go and add more. So let's say you wanted to see all of your unread messages. Tap on unread, and you can add that back in. And maybe what you'd like to do is see all of your email that came today. Tap on that, and then you can reorder them by dragging these up and down. And when you are done, you tap on done. And now I can see all of my unread messages, all the messages that arrived today, as well as any email that's in my personal mailbox, my personal folder. So what you're able to do is make the mail app work for you. You can customize what is shown here. And it's pretty easy to add and remove things. So maybe you want to try different mailboxes out. And if you don't use them, remove them. Simplify that mail interface. All you have to do is just tap on edit. And then you can go and add your own mailboxes, your own folders, as well as hide and show some of the other mailboxes. So that's how we manage our mail accounts, as well as create new mailboxes, or what I like to call folders, and favorite them in the mail app on the iPhone.